Hello everybody and welcome to episode 1 of the My GM on WWE 2K23. I've never done anything like this before, but I decided with this one we will try it. So what I'm going to do is every episode I'm going to be doing the lead up shows and the pay-per-view coming up. So it'll be about I think it's 3 to 4 shows per episode. And uh not really sure what to expect. Like I said, I've never really played this before. But. Uh, also, there's going to be no face cam just because this is just something I'm going to do to like kind of react, relax a little bit. And just take it easy and see what goes, what happens. So. Give me one second, because I knew that there were some, like, tips on this. Like, matchbooking, uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to pick these up real quick. And all it really is for the um, like tips is like the type of wrestlers that go well together. For example, it says giants go well with cruiserweights, fighters go well with bruisers, specialists with anybody. Uh, always do face versus heel. Um, star power and popularity determine how well they draw crowds. Exciting match types will lead to higher show quality and ratings. And you want matches to try and follow an expected drama curve. It consists of a strong opener, a weaker second, then an increase in performance for the subsequent matches with the highest points reached at the main event. So you want a good opening match. The second match doesn't really matter. The third match get a little bit better. Fourth match get a little bit better. And so on and so forth. So you get to the main event where you want the biggest thing. So let's get started. And pick what brand I want to go for. I'm probably going to go for Raw. Just because that's what I watched a lot growing up as a kid. There's Xavier Woods. Welcome to my GM. Your first big choice will be deciding which GM you'll want to take your brand to the next level. Each GM has their own unique power card that only they can use. Power cards are useful tools that can use to gain advantages in the season. Choose wisely because you won't be able to change your mind later. Okay. So with Adam Pierce, you get to increase the levels of all active rivalries by one. So I really don't know what that would do. Oh, like if you have rivalry rivalries building up. You can automatically boost them up one. Sonya Deville. Power cards in the store are free for one week. Stephanie McMahon earned twice as much money from arena attendance for one week. Xavier Woods. Select a superstar from an opposing brand's roster. They will permanently join your roster next week. The selected superstar may not be a title holder and not usable in week one. Okay, so you'll use it the following week after that. They'll become yours. Tyler Breeze, all your superstars immediately recover 20 stamina. Kurt Angle, all charity promos are free to book and have their results doubled. Backstage booking, booking costs for all show logistics are free. Cactus Jacked. Uh, Big Foley, select an opposing brand. Two superstars who participate in their show next week will be injured. And custom superstar, the first legend you sign this week will be free. So we're probably not gonna go with that one. Um I do like the rivalry thing, because if I'm doing it by if I do it by the WrestleMania at the end of the season, then 
and rivalries aren't built up, it'll be good. So we'll just go with Adam Pierce. Oh, and okay. Six random superstars on your roster will have their popularity increased by six. Select an opposing brand to have three randomly selected superstars not be booked in matches. Cannot be used the week before a premium live event. So you can't use this to mess them up on a pay-per-view. Title matches booked for this week will receive a large match rating boost. Reduce the price of the next three free agents you purchase by 50%. Extend the duration of all your current Legends contracts by five weeks. Um, I think we'll go with Brawl. All right, and we're going to go against NXT 2.0 and SmackDown. Uh, I think Stephanie was a good one for SmackDown. I think Kurt Angle would do well in NXT 2.0. Well, do I want NXT? No. We're just going to go Raw versus SmackDown. Me versus Steph. Let's go. Normal. Okay, so we're just going to keep all the settings the same way they were when we started out. And let's get to drafting. The WWE draft has begun. Who will be the first pick? Each GM starts the budget of 2.7 million. And GMs will take turns drafting one after the other. There will be nine rounds of drafting after the ninth. Drafting becomes optional. GMs can opt out or draft until they are out of cash. GMs can press right stick to get recommendations on who to draft. You can also press X to get more information. The red brand kicking things off with the first pick. Ross selects Finn Balor. Balor about to pass judgment on a new night. Rules be damned, he will make this brand better. Awaiting SmackDown's top choice. Raw sizing things up for their second pick. Uh, let's go ahead and get a female as my second. We'll go with Rhea. Rhea Ripley. Raw is about to experience the nightmare. They go with Brock. Predictable and unrelenting. I'm going to go with AJ. Pick three for SmackDown's GM. Raw back up, ready to turn in. Pick number four. Uh... Let's get a let's get a female real quick. Where are all of our good females? All right, we'll go with Liv. Ooh, Roman. I'm taking Charlotte. Smackdown about to make their fifth selection. Damien. Opportunities here for Raw's next selection. We'll go Nikita. Nikita Lions. And Nikita Lions is ready to roar on a new night. A great pick. She's positioned um, to break loose. Take Owens. Kevin Owens. Raw gets a taste of stun. Owens stun. I'm gonna stop at about the trenches. Good to have seven five to seven fifty. Raw drafts. Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso. It's day one on a new night. A man on the cusp of this brand's main event. 
who is about to join the Raw roster. Seth. And I only got like three females, so we're gonna pick up one more female real quick. And we'll go with Bailey just because she's a specialist. Did I just exit my GM? Oh my god. I hit the wrong button. Now I probably won't even get the things I wanted. That was my bad. The rosters are about to change. It's WWE Balor. draft time. Balor about to pass judgment on a new night. You cannot deny his passion. That's why he's number one. Who else did I get? AJ. I'm going to try to draft the same people. And of course, he's not here now. Let's go with people I know I drafted last time first. Ross live. Liv Morgan. The GM looking to live dangerously. And the GM making waves with a unique pick. Hopefully it doesn't crash down on him. Nikita. SmackDown's GM deliberating pick number three. A lot of options left. Who will go fourth to Raw? Raw picks. Randy Orton. We don't get AJ, so might as well go Orton. Uh, Cena. Translate into big success. Oh, buddy. That Roger mess up really Bailey. screwed me. Ding dong. Bailey ringing the door on a new show. She may well be the future leader of this brand. Raw selects Rhea Ripley. Raw has so many options to choose from here. Why did they have the choice for Gunther, but I don't? Oh. Raw drafts Gunther. A statement pick drafting the ring general. This guy thinks he's better than those early picks, and he's right. Okay, I've got heel, heel, face. Okay, heel, heel, heel. Face, heel, face, face. So, females I'm good with. I just had, I just need to get one more heel and two more faces for men. Um, oh, this is hard. There's our heel, so we need two faces. Looking to break through on a new brand. A guy who will dig into the trenches. Good to have on your side. SmackDown about to make another big pick. Team Red looking to route out its roster with this pick. A Drew, Finn, Gunther, Orton, Breaker. Is Edge still up there? Oh, I needed a heel though. No, I needed a face. There we go. Uh, let's see what kind of women we got. We got heel, heel, face, face. Let's just get one more female just to... There we go. Charlotte Flair, the Queen's throne is on Raw. Now this is the kind of talent you find room in the budget for. Yeah, look at my... Those are my guys right there and my females. Who will join SmackDown in mere moments? They're getting Smackdown Drew. Moving on in the draft. The SmackDown roster is now complete. Okay, 
Okay, they got some good ones. Cody Rhodes is one of those. Some amazing brands formed here. I can't wait to call the action. Okay, now what do we do? Hey. Be the first GM to earn 10 Hall of Fame trophies. Trophies can be awarded throughout the career achievements or seasonal challenges. Entering the Hall of Fame will allow you to continue playing or retire to save, retire your safe fall. All right, so we're building up to the SummerSlam right now. Tonight is the night the debut show. We have high hopes for you. I'm expecting big things overall this season. Make it an amazing show. Adam, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck on the coming season. We're looking forward to it over at SmackDown. Obviously, with Rikes for Rousey on our books, we think we're going to give Raw more than a run for its money. I guess we're going to find out. Okay. Who do I want to be my champion? Of course. And who do I want to be my... I have at least one backstage brawl this week. Oh, so it's reaching fans, winning in first place, and second place or better for seven or and ten. All right. All right, so we don't have anything right there yet. Is there? We'll probably have to come back to this. Legends. All right, so first match, good, weaker second, better third, best fourth. All right, so strong opener. We'll just have a one-on-one -on -one with Rhea and Charlotte to start building a feud there. And we'll just make it a normal match. Second will be kind of the weaker match, which will be um, Drew and no, we don't want we don't want Drew and Gunther. We want uh, Nikita and Bailey. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put them in there. These both are. Oh, Charlotte's not a face, though. <sighs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start this out good with Orton versus Edge for the U.S. title. And we'll save that. We'll roll change and make Charlotte a face. Advertise with Liv. Okay, stronger third match. That'll be Gunther. I'll make that a triple threat. Yeah, triple threat. Drew and Breaker. Okay. Right here, we'll do a call out. Of Rhea calling out 
Charlotte. And our last match, we do not have anybody to go up against Finn Balor. We gotta go sound somebody. And we're gonna start up a championship backstage brawl match right there. All right, first show's looking pretty good. All right, let's book that show. Confirm booking. Now let's see what SmackDown does after we go through this. All right, who's our US champion? Randy Orton will be the first. Ooh. Okay. Nikita with the win. Oh my. All right, this gotta be a good one. Oh God. Oof. Oh, look at this. How did they do? Okay. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. One, two, ring the bell. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Yeah, they beat me in every aspect of that one. I lost money that one. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, so they've got me by 6,000 fans right now, which isn't a huge gap. Okay, I'm not happy losing my strap. As a former champion, I'm an active member. Years calls. I want a championship rematch because we're all no way. Else better get shot at the world to the championship for me. Okay. Breaker cheated me in a match. I want to rematch in the next two weeks. Seems reasonable. All right, so we're going to do both rematches this way. Rest of my primary solo champions this week. Okay, so. Neither of the girls will be fighting. I mean, neither of these two will be fighting. Um, but Gunther did. We'll finish this out with a triple threat. Tables match between Gunther, Drew, and Breaker. So they said Balor and Edge are both. I mean, Orton and Edge are both faces. So we're going to turn Orton heel. Because Orton was a great heel. Self promo. Uh, Seth can go out there. 
Never mind, he's not going out there. Bailey can go out there for a self promo. Advertising, uh, Liv can not eat Liv. Nikita more popular? No. Yeah, Nikita's got a little bit more popularity, but we're gonna bring Charlotte out to do that. All right, let's see. He's gonna have a feud with Rollins, so we're just gonna wrist Balor this week. We'll do Nikita. Nikita versus Liv. I need some cheap people. You know what? Welcome to Raw. Uh, spider? Or the giant? Is there a cruiser? Yep, right there. Okay. Is there any good legends I can get right now? 56k, 101k. Okay. So these aren't going to be liked very well. So we're going to take this one, move it to here, and make it a one-on-one -on -one tables match. Bruiser versus Cruiser, that does well, right? No, Fighter versus Bruiser. Oh, Jesus. And Cruiser versus... Oh, I do have a Giant. There we go. Um, is there a fighter over here? All right, Nick, come on over. This is going to be a bad show. All right, Fighter versus Bruiser. I bought it for the wrong thing. Fighter. I don't know who you are, but welcome to Raw. Please, no feuds come out of the show. <laughs>
Yeah, it's gonna be bad starting out. Do a couple squash matches. Breaker got the win again. Right, they got do drop an EO. Draw. It's weird. Tag team. Black and cross beat on self promo. On MVP, I really don't. I wouldn't like that. Okay. Yeah, of course. SmackDown's gonna take over after that because I can keep going after that because I couldn't do. Okay. I couldn't do anything with my champions. I had to let them rest. Can't wait to put on a show for my crowd. So Nikita wants a show. I am Ash. Thanks for the rematch against Braun. Didn't go the way it should have, but I appreciate the opportunity. Ensure that Nick knows Dav cuts a promo. Nikita wants to make a sh showing. So does... Okay, Rhea does not have anybody yet. But that's Bruiser versus Bruiser, which wouldn't be good. Um... I do know Finn wanted his rematch clause and we'll make it interesting by making it a TLC match. Uh, Nick knows of learned a promo. We can start a okay, fighter goes good with a bruiser. So we'll go ahead and have Orton start by calling out Raker. And Gunther and Drew McIntyre are going to continue having their issue through a table match. Nikita can open the show against... She's a bruiser, so a fighter. We don't have a fighter, so we'll just put her against Bailey, who's a specialist. And tables match. Do I have enough guys to do it? I do. They're both faces, I can't do that. Wait. You girls better not let me down. And we're doing charity promo using stacked. Hello, Bailey. Thank you. Wait, logistics. Thank you for the lurk, Bailey. Who the hell? I don't know. No, Bailey. Tonight, today is my last day of bereavement. I got three days from work, so I took off Friday, today, yesterday, and today. Oh, you're all good, Bailey. No reason, no need to apologize.
kind of want to just give her a chance at the uh, titles, actually. So we'll do a specialist and a bruiser against a specialist and cruiser. Actually, no, we're going to do this cruiser and a specialist. That, that better not go wrong. And we'll do live versus... Aaron to start the show out no reason to apologize Bailey how's your day going down there you having fun I seen you were on the sea screamer thing on your snapchat One, two, that's three. Bring it. what Okay, thought that would be a weaker match, but okay. I really thought Nikita Lyons and Charlotte Flair could beat them. All right. Ooh. Why is there no... Rivalry being built off that. This is weird. I beat them in the first mid card. Okay. Now that Finn has a stamina below 40, he's vulnerable to becoming injured. The lower the stamina, the more strength is to match, the greater the risk comes. So you're starting to complete rest for comfortable stamina points in a week. He wants to be at SummerSlam, which he will because he's, he's got a feud. I have one Extreme Rules match this week. Is there... Okay, that'll be good. A strong opener. Trish is going to start a feud with Rhea for the title. It's just going to be a normal match. We're going to have... Finn call out Rollins. Actually, we're just going to let them rest. Uh, Gunther 
and McIntyre will continue their feud by doing Steel Cage. What did I say? Bell Commissioner goal. Oh! Extreme Rules match. Here we go. Uh, right here. We'll have Bailey go one on one with Charlotte in a normal match, and right here, who's feuding with Orton? Braun. So who put him in a match with last week? I don't know. What is Braun Breaker Bruiser and a fighter? They go well together, so we'll do this to a tables match. Men's self promo. The edge. Uh, does anybody want to change roles? We'll change Seth to a face. Advertising, bring in live. All right, let's go. One, two, it's over. Trish is the new women's champion. One, two, it's over. Hit the bell. Ooh. New U.S. Champion. Gunther beats McIntyre. Alright, let's see what they do. I think they've got me beat in this first set. They got an injury already. GG beat Rhonda? Then Rhonda gets called out. Drew and Cena and the MVP. Our truth beats carrying cross. Okay, so not as bad this week. They still got a lot more fans than me. All right, this is SummerSlam. Oh, God. Oh. Um. Oh. It. Talking Stratus, she has this idea we should team up. She's the woman's champion. We're not gonna do it this week. I have one TLC match this week, okay. I still don't even have a men's tag team championship group yet. Okay, TLC match. That's going to be our main event, and it's going to be Sith versus Balor. TLC match. 
title match. There we go. Um, our strong opener. Gonna be Breaker versus Orton for the title. It's gonna be a Falls Count Anywhere match. Okay, a little bit weaker here. We're gonna go. Uh, Karen and Morgan. It's just gonna be standard match. Down here. I mean, Third, we're going to have the women's tag team title match. Not you. It is going to be for the titles. And finally... Actually, we need to settle this feud. But we also need to put her in a match. So we're going to take, actually, this needs to move here. Okay, this is going to be the end of their feud. And it's going to be in an Iron Man match. Self promo, live. Self promo, stack. Um, advertising, Nick, finally, not a call out, self promo for Edge, let's go. See what this do. Okay. All right. Two. That's three. Bring it. Level two feud. All right. Let's see what this tag team match can do. They retain. Okay. Can Rhea keep her title? Stratus takes the title from Rhea. And finally, the World Championship. Balor wins in a classic. All right, so first they got Truth Cross Lesnar. Lesnar's going to win. Oh. That's surprising. GG. They really sucked it up on the pay-per-view. The yeah, they got a double champion. They can't even do nothing right now with either. Either you're going to lose a tag team title match or you're going to lose a world title match. One of the two. And they're going to finish up this feud, which is going to be a good match. A draw. Yeah, I took I took this week. Under 32 and they got 113. So how close are we now? OK, so we're 34,000 off. Contact th contract draws up at the end of the week. I won't be renewing it. Okay. Hey, Warden. I need to run a main event match. I know the fans will be excited. That means a lot to my career. Okay. Look, 
Bailey has been handing me nothing but losses. Isn't there something else on the roster you can match me up against for a change? We will try. Oh. So what we're going to do is, uh, we got a lot of bruisers, so we don't really want him. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this on a champion deserves it. Bailey's going to end up having a match. Okay, so that'll be the end of episode one, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you've seen, we are a little behind right now on this. But still got a long way to go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.